All right, I'm going to show you how to set up the drill point gauge. <clears throat> we start with a piece of uh, 10 gauge stock. It's uh, 6 inches by 2 inches. And you can see on the print uh, that you get. And basically what I do before I do any uh, machining, layout, anything, I'll write some notes on my print that I will be needing as I go through. So you can see that I've already laid it out with the blue dicom and uh, I'll be going by this print here. Uh, the dicom as it gets older, it'll have a greenish tint and that's fine. Several ways to lay it out. We can use uh, steel rules, we can use six inch rules, and like a carpenter, we can make layout marks. But I found that the best way to lay this thing out is just to lay it out with your calipers. Your calipers are hardened on the faces. So we'll use uh, calipers to lay this out. So let me show you first, the first line we'll lay out is this one and one eighth. So we set our calipers at 1.125. We lock them down there. And I will scrub a line, whoops, nice and neat down the center there. And you can see that's this line right here. So I've got that line right there. What I'm gonna do now is get my two inch line. Let's see if how we are in size. Yep, we are over two inch. So I'm gonna put a two inch line right up here at the top. right there there's my two inch line so now I have my two inch line from a height my line this way is my one and one eighth uh, now I'm going to put this point here which is going to be five inches back and it's going to be on this one and one eighth line so I'm going to go five inches back on my calipers right here so I'm going to go like this and put me a little line there and this little line, I'm going to basically use it to uh, as a center point for my angle. So my angle is 31 degrees, but 31 from 90 is going to be uh, 59. So I set my protractor at 59 degrees. I'm going to come off. I'm going to make this line here. Run it down just like this. Okay, there you can see that line there. And now I have my line here, my two inch line, my other line. I do need to make a spot for my radius. So what I'm going to do is set my calipers for a half inch in both directions. And I'm going to set my calipers at a half inch, lock them down, whoops. Set them at a half inch, lock it down. And I'm going to go this way a half inch, and I'm going to go this way a half inch. What I'm going to do is put me a little prick punch mark. Now remember, a prick uh, punch and the center punch are different. A center punch is 90 degrees, a prick punch is 60 degrees. So a prick punch is a little sharper. So I'm just going to put a little mark right here. And this little mark is not going to be drilled or anything, but it's going to be used to put my radius on my part. So to set my, these are dividers, I'm going to set them at, say, four inches, and then I'll set it at a half mark because, see, my radius is one half of an inch. So I'm going to drop one leg into the prick punch mark, and I'm going to scrub this radius. See there? I just scrub that radius right on there. Okay, and if we mess up any lines, it's not a big deal. We can always go back over it with some dicom and clean it up. No big deal. Uh, so now I'm gonna, going to put my 916 mark. So I'm going to go 562, 916, 562 and a half, but 562. And this is going to be the mark where all of my holes are going to be. Right there. Okay, so now you can see it's starting to look like a uh, drill point gauge, you see? The radius on it you see the angle you see this line you'll see the line for the center of the hose now I'm going to mark where the center of the hose are going to be so I did this intentionally like this this is uh, we would say absolute measurement as opposed to incremental measurement absolute is much more accurate so we're gonna go a half inch mm, if we can get it there there we go a half inch and I'm going to just put a mark there. I'm going to, going to go one inch now and put a mark at one inch. That's a half inch plus the half inch. 
I'm going to go 1 and 5 eighths, 1.625. Just like that. Now we're going to go two and a quarter, 2.250 right there. And it is much faster to use your calipers than to use the steel rule and the scrabbers. Now we'll go two and seven eighths, which is 875, 2.875. Now we'll go three and a half, 3.500. And we're always coming off of the same point, so we're not gonna let any kind of bad measurements catch up. Now we want four and a quarter, 4.250. Now we're gonna go up to the five inch mark where we were a while ago. Okay, so the five inch mark will be right here. Okay, so now you see all of our marks. I got this one off a little bit and it's a little scratched up, but that's okay. I'm going to use my prick punch to prick all of these. So the way we use our prick punch, we want to come in at an angle and just tap. And we will tap. We will tap. But see how I'm coming in at an angle like this and just giving a little tap. And then what we'll do in just a moment, we'll come back and put center punch marks with a little bit bigger hammer. So I'm done with my layout hammer, which is usually two to four ounces for a layout hammer. Now I'm going to use my center punch because now these are gonna be drilled. So now I'm gonna make them just a little bit bigger. Whoops, be careful. And last one. So this is what I'm going to have to start cutting on. I'm going to be drilling these hose, and on the last page of your handout shows you what size hose you'll be putting on there. We probably won't be putting the tick marks or the graduation marks on it. We have a way to do it here, but you don't need to do that. So now I'm going to take a bandsaw, vertical bandsaw, and I'm going to stay on this side of the line by about a sixteenth, and I'm going to cut down through here. I'm going to cut down through here. And we're going to cut down through here and stay about a sixteenth away. I'm going to use my file to file that radius. This prick punch mark does nothing. And then I will drill these hoes. So I'm going to drill according to my last page. Looks like a sixteenth, eighth, three sixteenths, quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, uh, seven sixteenths, and a half. Okay, so. I'll get started on that, and basically that's how we lay this thing out. So good luck on that, and if you have questions, shoot me an email or uh, send me a text. Thank you.